goodness. Uh, next up, you might remember this guy uh, as the bearded baby from the circus. Please welcome Bora Akar. How's it going? So, anyways, my name is Mora. You might remember me from uh, the history book, actually. You might see my picture there. The guy, Evolution of Man. The guy that's before, like, with the spear. So, I do have a pretty, like, you know, wicked beard. And uh, it's funny that uh, people actually tell me, like, dude, like, like, they compliment me. Growing a beard is like a big achievement. So I'm like, you know what? You wake up, right? Yeah. You shave? Yeah. I don't. That's what, that's what I do. That's what I do best. Like, but it does grow like pretty fast. Like by the time I shave, I pat my face dry, and I have a five o'clock shadow. So it's not bad. Anyways, and uh, my hair actually grows as fast as my beard. So I have to go to the hairdresser quite often, right? Anyways, and uh, I've been going to these uh, budget places. You know, you you know, you get what you pay for. Anyways, and, uh, pretty like bad experiences there. But uh, a lot of you guys here, you actually go to the hairdresser to you know like to look nice and all that stuff. I go there to look human. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the last time I went to this like budget hair dresser or whatever, she was so bad. By the time she was done, I was looking at my reflection, and I was like almost like in, in tears, you know. And uh, <laughs> insult to injury, she's like, "Do you want gel on it? <laughs> you know, I, is there a gel that fixes like shitty hair?" <laughs> Do you have like gasoline? <laughs> so after the budget places, I found this place close to my like in my neighborhood. It's called Tony's Barbershop, and I'm telling you, like this place is run by this old Italian guy called Tony. <laughs> this guy's like really grumpy, and uh, you go into Tony's Barbershop, and he hasn't changed the decoration. Like, all these guys, like, they're from 1940s, right? Him included. And he has his friend, Enzo, on the corner. And every time I go there, Enzo's on the corner doing something. Like, I don't know what he does there. He's <laughs> always there. And uh, I went there a couple of times. Like, the thing is with Tony, like, you don't get, you don't, you know, like, you don't explain, like, you know, I want this or want that. You go to Tony's barbershop, you get the Tony haircut. That's it. <laughs> no, like, nothing else. So, a couple of times I went there. One of my friends told me, like, dude, like, you go to Tony's, like, you should ask for, you know, straight razor shave. Maybe the girls don't know, but straight razor is an open blade that can probably kill you in an instant, right? <laughs> but people used to die back in the day, shaving. <laughs> so, I'm like, you know what, that day, I don't know what came over me. I'm like, Tony, can I get a shave, you know, like, so it's like, eh. Like, <laughs> if you're going to get a straight dress of shave, you should get it from an old, grumpy Italian guy. Unless there's a fucking soccer game on TV. <laughs> And uh, let me tell you, that's probably like the scariest shit that I've ever had. <laughs> so anyways, he prepares the stuff, like, you know, foams me up, whatever. The game's on TV. And Enzo, the guy that doesn't talk and read, you know, read the newspaper, starts fucking like mouthing off in Italian, like, hey, hey, like, how about you? Fucking gets totally mad. And you know what, like, Italians are known for their, like, you know, hand gestures. And he's just, Tony's going wild. And there's, like, a fucking straight razor, an inch from my face, just like... <laughs> By the time, like, I think it was the second half, if I can remember correctly, that's when I was shitting my pants. <laughs> and, uh, fucking, I did get, like, nicked. And, uh, hence the, uh, you know, that's what I'm... 
hide in the skirt. <laughs> so, uh, Laura, a